And everyone, Sean here with another video, and today it is a beautifully gorgeous day. It is very hot, but I'm excited to come share the message with you today. And the message is about thriving. It's about living the life that you want to live. It's about not just living the life you want to live with money, but in your relationships, your finances, <laughs> finances, your family, your friends, the people you love, everything that brings abundance and happiness into your life. Because at the end of the day, guys, everyone who's listening to this video or everyone who is soul searching is looking for an answer. They're looking, what? Why is my life the way it is? How can I go from where I am to where I want to be? And how can I just have that abundance life? How can I just go from trying to survive to thrive? Now, I can't give you every single tool, but what can I, I can tell you is it all starts from inside. It starts from the psychology. What you have inside your heart and inside your head dramatically affects how you're going to live your life and how you're going to express your feelings and thoughts. Think about, okay, let's say you have a girlfriend. Do you come home to her every single day and just give her a quick and then walk and just sleep and or go and watch Netflix? Or do you have passion behind it? Do you grab her and hold her and bring the sparks into her life? Do you bend, just dance with her? Do you do stuff that just excites you? Do you remember when you first walked up to her and you were like, that's the girl. And now you've been dating her for six months and now you take it for granted. That's one thing you could change. Think about your finances right now. Are you living in a, are you working in a job that you don't like? Do you say every day, I'm going to make a change, but you never do? Why is that? It's the psychology inside your head. You're telling yourself that you want to do one thing, and then you're doubting yourself on the other side. You can't have fear behind it. Fear is the ultimate stop to people going from where they are to where they want to be. And it's happened in my life, and it's happened in your life as well, and it happens in so many people's lives. But you have to embrace what life has brought you. You have to realize you are on this planet for a reason greater than yourself. You're here to do more, be more, and encourage people and lift people up. It's not about just surviving. It's about taking what you have, the inside psychology, and expressing what you authentically know and taking it to the next and next level to you where you can change more than just yourself. You can change people. You can change the world. You can change your finances, your fitness, your health, your, your family and friends and loved ones and everything. It's possible. But remember, I keep preaching this in this video. You have to find it within yourself. You have to do some soul searching. You have to actually start modeling people who have the success that you want to have. Is there someone who's doing exactly what you wish you could do, but you have no idea how to do it? Is there someone like that that you could reach out to and be like, hey, could you give me a helping hand? I'm here in this position. I don't know what to do. Just help me out. I promise you that if you're a good enough person who actually got into that level, and some people won't want to give you help, but some people will. The people who actually live the authentic life that's exciting, that's vibrant. You don't want to model the people who are sad and depressed, but at a level you think you need to be. You got to find the people who are excited, passionate, ready to take on life, ready to take life to the next level. Because remember guys, life isn't about surviving, it's about thriving. How do we thrive? We thrive by finding what's inside, what's authentic, what do I actually love to do? What is bringing me excitement? What is making me happy every single day? Do I come home depressed or do I come home happy? Do I give my wife or husband a kiss that they've never had before? Do I go out every single day giving so much value to my friends? Do I lift them up or do I bring them down? Do I come with my shoulders back, my head up, my voice excited, my passion living through me? Or do I come out low voice, shoulders forward, focusing on what I don't have? Remember guys, what you focus on you feel. What you focus on brings you life. You don't want to focus on what you don't have. You want to focus on the thrive, the what you already have, what you can build off of. Like right now, for example, I'm renting this house with my parents. I'm living at home. But I'm not focusing on, oh, I wish I had my own crib. I wish I had my own car. I wish I had more money. I'm focusing on, I have money. I have clothes. I have a house over my head. I get to see my family every single day. I have, I'm only 22 years old and I have so much potential. That's what I focus on because now I feel more vibrant. I feel more excited. I feel like I could do more, be more, become more. Remember, guys, it's not just about, it's not just about surviving. It's about thriving. That is the message to you. So take it as you will. Come into life every single day. If you have a girlfriend, if you have a job, if you have something in your life right now that you're not so excited about, change it. Get excited about it. Start doing more than you ever can. Give back. Do something that's going to bring excitement, that's going to bring happiness into your life. Because it's, 
It's just changing your psychology inside and you can find that your outside world would change once you change your inside world. That's the message, guys. I'm burning up, but I just had to give it to you. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.